are you doing down there? Are you spying on me? Or are you trying to check out my new socks? Look at my new socks. Aren't those nice? They're wool. Look at that. They came in a pack of three, three different colors. They're so warm and so comfortable. Man, I love my new socks. Check them out. So socks like this can be called winter socks or uh, you could call them hiking socks because usually people, you know, when they go hiking, they wear socks like this, really nice warm wool. Is it wool socks or woolen socks? Hmm, I'm not sure, wool socks or woolen socks? You'll have to let me know the right answer. I'm not sure <laughs> which is the better word to say, wool or woolen. But um, anyway, so I thought I would teach you guys some sock vocabulary today. Okay, let's start with some ankle socks, okay? These kinds of socks are called ankle socks because they come up to your ankle. Okay, that part of your leg, that sort of between your foot and your leg is called your ankle, right? Uh, they're not normal socks, right? Normal socks would be like these. You could call these like normal length socks. Okay, and if the sock goes all the way up to your knee, then you could call those knee-high socks. Knee-high socks. That almost sounds a bit Chinese, doesn't it? Knee-how, knee-how socks. Knee-how ma. Knee-how ma socks. Okay, so if you wear knee-high socks, you could, uh, you could call them Chinese socks. Don't listen to anything I'm saying. I'm just talking gibberish. I'm talking gibberish. Gibberish means nonsense. Doesn't make any sense, so don't listen to a word I'm saying, okay? Um, now, if you wear socks that go even higher than knee-high, like up to your thighs, then you would call those like thigh-high socks. I think you'd say thigh-high. I'm wearing thigh-high socks. Boy, have you ever worn thigh-high socks? I've never worn, uh, actually when I was in, so when I was, uh, in, in high school, I played soccer and I wore, you know, soccer socks are very often like knee high. So yeah, I guess I wore socks almost up to my knees. Those are probably the longest socks I've ever worn in my life, but I've never worn thigh high socks, but let me know if you've ever worn thigh high socks in your life. Okay. So let's take a look at these. Okay. So these are ankle socks. Or you could probably call these sports socks, you know, because if you go outside and you see some people playing sports in a park, you know, they're probably going to be wearing ankle socks like this. Okay, so you could, you could call these sports socks. And uh, another reason you could call them sports socks is because usually the material, like usually the fabric is more breathable. You know, it's important if you're playing sports, you know, it's, uh, and your feet are going to be sweating, it's important to have socks that are breathable, right? That's, uh, so we can use that word, breathing, right? You could say, uh, you know, the socks let your feet breathe, right? Because if, if, the, if the socks are not breathable, then your feet are going to stink, right? If you're playing soccer or something, your, your feet are gonna smell really foul. They're going to stink after you play, if your socks are not breathable. So if you're gonna play some sports, it's good to get some socks that are, uh, have some sort of breathable material. And we can also use that for shoes too. You know, you could say these shoes are, uh, are breathable or these shoes are not very breathable. Okay, so there's your ankle sock or, oh, I was gonna teach you the different, um, the different parts of a sock. Okay, so this is the toe. Okay, this is the sock's toe. And then this here is the sock's heel. Okay, just like the just like your feet, right? You've got your toes, and you've got your uh, your heel, and then uh, and then this top part. You could call this the cuff, I think. Yeah, you could call this top part the cuff. Usually, we use the word cuff for for shirts, right? If you're wearing a shirt, a dress shirt, you might roll up the cuff, or if you're wearing pants, you know, you could roll up the cuff of your pants. So you know, I don't know. It's probably not very common to talk about the cuff of a sock, but if you want to describe this top part, you could probably call that the cuff. Okay, so the toe, the heel, the cuff. Let me think, are there any other parts of a, I don't know, I don't think it's, it's not very common to talk about the parts of a sock, right? But 
you know, you might want to talk about the toe or, you know, very, very often the heel of a sock wears out. Okay, so that's usually where a hole appears. Okay, so if you wear your socks for a few years, you know, you'll probably get a hole here in the, the heel of the socks or you might get some holes in like the toe, the toe area of the sock. Okay, so that's the different parts of a sock. Now let's take a look at this kind of sock. Now this is just your normal, you know, run of the mill kind of sock. Run of the mill means just, just average, you know, just a very typical, very common kind of sock, right? So this is just your run of the mill socks. You could call these like normal length socks or calf socks or mid calf socks. You know, they sort of go halfway up your calf. So you could probably call them mid calf socks. Okay, uh, now let's take a look at this kind of sock. Okay, these are dress socks, dress socks. Okay, you wear, usually you wear dress socks with dress shoes. Okay, nice thing about dress socks is they're, uh, they're usually sort of silky smooth, right? They're made from silk or some other kind of really smooth material. Smooth like a baby's bottom. Sometimes in English we say that. If, uh, if something is really smooth, you could say it's smoother. Or how does it go? It's as, it's as smooth as uh, the skin of a... No. I think, it's, I think we just say it's as smooth as a baby's bottom. Yeah, it says, or it's as soft as a baby's bottom. I can't remember how the idiom goes. Something about, something about a baby's bottom. Anyway, I don't know. I never touch baby's bottom, so I wouldn't even know. Have you ever touched a baby's bottom? Is it actually smooth? Is it soft? I don't know. But if the idiom is right, then uh, this is probably what a baby's bottom feels like. Smooth as the skin, or soft as the skin. Of a baby's, I'll have to look up that idiom to see what it is. If it's if it's soft or if it's smooth, I can't remember. Okay, but anyway, these are dress socks. Usually, dress socks have sort of um, like the material is a bit thinner. Okay, so it's it's thin. It's uh, I think it's it's thinner so that it it fits inside your dress shoes better. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I don't know anything about socks, so don't take anything I'm saying as uh, as gospel truth. Okay, gospel truth means real truth, right? I don't know anything. I don't know anything about socks. I'm not a sock expert. So you, you have to educate me, okay? So educate me about socks down in the comments. I want you to teach me because I give up. I don't know anything about socks. Okay, so let's take a look at another kind of sock here. Ooh, look at these. These are Christmas socks. Okay, Christmas socks are very common here, especially at Christmas time. You know, usually they're red or green, you know, they have some reindeer or maybe Santa Claus or some, some Christmas bells or stars or something. Okay, so here's some Christmas socks. Maybe for Christmas I'll bust out these Christmas socks. And then the last kind of socks are Trudeau socks. <laughs> Trudeau's. I call these Trudeau socks because, you know, very often you see on the news, if you follow Canadian news, you always see Trudeau wearing really colorful socks like this. So I call these Trudeau socks. But anyway, there are the different kinds of socks for you guys. Hope you, uh, hope you learned something. Hope you're having a great day. And I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. <laughs> Take care.